needs to kind of be calm. Yeah, exactly. They can't get too excited because it's not over until it's over. The calmest person in the stadium was Charles Lowe right there. He knows the game is not over. Hong Kong hasn't played well in the second half, but they have the ability to, to come back right away. It's a great shot there. What a comeback, though. They made 18 points in the second half. Amazing. Oh, Jim Young, he's... We're talking about the bench of the Korean team, number 19, Sung Duk, number 22 here, Oh Ji Myung. These guys coming on really doing what was asked of them as right. impact, play, uh, impact players off the bench. That's what you want to see. Shot of Coach Lewis there, a lot to ponder for these last 12 minutes. Clean take. Number 22, that was his second successful kick today, huh? Correct. Amazing. They've been running everything out. Team to go backwards. They need to clean this up. It's okay. Mm. Coach's nightmare. Absolute coaching nightmare. I can tell you why Charlie Lowe was not excited after that kick because they knew he knew Hong Kong has the ability to strike back. Ooh. Korea, you're in the lead now. No need to run it out. Mm. Just. Play exit, yeah. just exit. <coughs> play percentages, play safe rugby. Trying to play outside of their half again. Knock on. Hong Kong on the counter. I think we're going to need to see a replay because, you know, who knocked on the ball there? I'm not quite sure. It's going to be a double knock on. That's what we call a coach killer. That's why, uh, <laughs> yeah, coaching is very difficult. That's why Charlie Lowe doesn't have a the hair that he used to before he came to Korea. He told me that specifically. It's because of plays like that. Just heard one of the Korean players say, hey, Yogiya, which means it's here, it's now, this is the time to stand up. Here's the scrum. Great scrum from both sides. Hong Kong with a slight push. Advantage. Korea have to be careful, they're under the penalty here at the scrum, Hong Kong attacking. We haven't seen a goal line stand from Korea so far this game, so excited to see how they stand up. Not the time to show the Hong Kong bench, it's time to show the goal show. line. They're under advantage, so they've gone for the kick. It's a foot race. Wow. A try for Hong Kong. It's going to go under review. It hasn't been given. A try given. Number 23, Nathan Dutieri. That makes it 20 for Hong Kong and 18 for Korea. The impact player that uh, we talked about off the bench. Both benches doing their job today. Nathan Dutieri winning that foot race. Looks like uh, on the grounding probably did something there to his rib probably when he was fully extended. This was under advantage, so you know, this is where you, t you, you roll the dice. Yeah, that's proper speed there. Yunshik is no slow customer. That is a great, great play. That great was grounding. really great by 23. Yeah, it looks like, Tony, you, we've done that before where you're trying to extend for the try and ribcage maybe not so much these days but uh, <laughs> more playmaking these days and uh, I see in your club games uh, maybe maybe he's uh, it's a previous injury because it didn't look like too much contact yeah, when, he, uh, when he did plant that ball down but a big kick here this is to take it out to four points which takes the drop goal or penalty away but yeah so this is an opportunity to make it uh, I guess you know take it away from that three point difference very big kick it's not going to go in so we have a two-point game. Korea can take the lead with, like you said, a drop goal or a penalty. Everything on the line with eight minutes to go here. Uh, it's great to see the two sides play a competitive match. It's been a while, probably since about 2015, 2016, that a game between these two sides has been so competitive. Hong Kong has had the better of Korea uh, in the last six, seven years. Korea showing that there are no pushovers and underdogs. You don't win it on paper, you gotta play the game. Hong Kong just looking to exit here. Keeps it in. Opportunity for Korea to attack. 
Nice little change of direction there, but he's alone. Just Korea need to settle. Keep hold of the ball. Forwards doing their trick. That's a big contact there between the forwards. Nowhere to go. Sometimes you just got to straighten. Hong Kong really attacking that breakdown. Okay, Korea applying the pressure with a bit of a, a kick. Up and under. Great take there by Nathan. Sorry, we've seen a penalty, but I can't see the referee's hand. Holding, Holding on. on from Hong Kong. Penalty right in front of the post. OG Myung has knocked one over earlier in the game from this uh, distance and this kind of angle. You you know you bet your house that they're gonna take they're gonna take the call for three. Good catch by Nathan, but then uh, just tackle. a counter rock from from Korea. It's really a tackle a and it's no key. The number seven, like a good number seven does, on Johnny on the spot. The second that Hong Kong player hit the deck, he was over that ball. The tension and the pressure in the stadium right now, it's unbelievable. I can feel it. I can feel it. It's okay, he's done it. I think this is what our tens live for. Those pressure moments. This is what you dream about when you're when you're a young rugby player. Game on the line. You create those situations for yourself. Here you are, national team player with a chance to take the lead. Kick is up. And that is good. Oh Ji Myung is on fire today. Number 22. Another successful kick for Korea. 21-20. Korea's in the lead by one point. We got five and a half minutes of this test match. Guys, we this got ourselves a game. This last 20 minutes, this game has come alive. Oh Ji Myung, great strike here. Look at the concentration. A little tongue out, a little Michael <laughs> Jordan there. He knew the second he kicked it, eh? He picked up that tee before the ball even went over. Hong Kong has restarted play. Clean take by Korea. Let's see if they can exit. Halfback takes it into his hands. I do want to mention that Hong Kong is at a little bit of a disadvantage right now because they are down one player. Oh, little show and go. What? Turnover. It's this last pass. Why? The decision is why, you know? You've just turned the ball over. You forced Hong Kong into the turnover. You've gotten the ball. Cool heads. You need cool heads. Turnover, but that's okay, you know. We've got still four and a half minutes. It's a good position for Korea to be. Hong Kong now need to back themselves. They need to gather themselves and go forward and, and find at least a penalty or a drop goal here. Yeah, those 50-50 passes are just not coming off of the Koreans. Great heads up play, but then that pass. It looked, it looked, looked flat at best, but ref caught it forward. We got a scrum. It's one of those situations where you either give it or you don't, but you make a decision early and you back it, but he was kind of caught in two minds there, Pak Chung Bum, number 20. Scrum has gone down, but it's a penalty to Hong Kong. They really needed that one. They'll try and kick the ball inside the Korean half and build pressure on there. Both teams are going to have to dig deep. It is a battle of wits, fitness, mentality. That's a great kick. Take him play into the Korean half. Important here, Korea cannot give up a penalty. At the same time for Hong Kong, got to keep hold of the ball, apply pressure. You know, don't need to try. All you need to do is apply pressure, move a little bit forward, probably a little bit out of range for a penalty now, maybe 10, 15 meters, and then just keep hold of the ball. Starts with the line out. They're gonna be uh, driving more. Good clean line out there. Hong Kong's line out has been really good this yeah, whole game. Yeah, set piece has been really good today. Really good game. We have about three minutes left on the clock right now. Korea 21, Hong Kong 20. Ah. Korea's getting a little anxious right now. Yeah, the, the, the ball looked, you know, 
I think the Korean player there, number 14, Hwang Injo, thought the ball might have been out. It wasn't out yet. The ball was over, but, you know, we're into a tackle situation there. And he just came in from the side. You know, they stopped it well. Referee deemed that ball to be over on their own accord. No reason for no reason for Hwang Injo to come in from the side there. He's taking a shot. Taking a shot. They're going for the kick? Yep. You have to at this situation, no? It's a big kick. Very Absolutely. big angle. Absolutely. This could change everything. I'd say about 40, 45, 43 on the angle. <sighs> yeah, 45 probably on the angle there, right? This man's come on, made an impact, scored the try. Now it's a chance with two minutes left in the game to take Hong Kong in the lead. Uh, I will say there will be time. If this kick does go over, there will be time to restart play. Korean fans doing their best to break the concentration of the kicker. Not something we like to see in rugby. He's pushed it left. Koreans need to kick it out. Distance was there. But yeah, he just it's one of those situations where it's a bit of a long kick, so you try to give it everything you have. And sometimes you kind of sacrifice a little bit of direction when you want that extra bit of power. Yeah, he definitely hooked that. He gave it everything he had. But sometimes you just uh, lose a bit of accuracy when you when you give it that extra few uh, five ten meter pump. Okay, Korea with the restart here. We're we'll going to drop out deep. Ooh, this, this is very important. Bit of an NLR hit up here. Great very tackle. Important. Last minute of the game. Can't give away any penalties. And and on the flip side, Hong Kong can. Uh, advantage? Advantage there. Thirty seconds on the clock. Penalty might be out of range, so even if the time runs out, we will come back for the penalty. The penalty was for not release from Moon Jung Ho, the center. Right on halfway. What do they do? I mean, with fifteen seconds on the clock. I think Nathan Deteri did have the distance there. This one, the angle is a bit easier. It's straight in front. It looks like, though, Nathan hasn't picked up the ball. We're just, we're just waiting for the mark. This angle, this is over 50 meters yeah. on the angle, so you probably think Hong Kong going for the corner. Yep, that's correct. I'm trying to put them into the 22. The 10th finish to follow. Okay, look, Korea have given up two penalties the last time Hong Kong have attacked. Korea cannot give up a penalty. On the, vi on the flip side, Hong Kong need to keep hold of the ball. Korea has the one-point lead, so the next time the ball is uh, dead, there's a stoppage in play, the game will be over. World Cup on the line. They've sacked the line out. Advantage, advantage. The last play of the game. Hong Kong playing with the advantage. Let's see if they take the kick for goal one. Yes. I think about every Hong Kong player that was pointing at the goal. Guys who don't have the responsibility pointing to the post there. Oh. Still a difficult angle. I think you'll take it out to the 22 end. It comes down to one final kick. Kick. This is it. Hong Kong still has a chance, though. Cut the tension with a butter knife in here. Number 22. You think at test level, at I'm test level, this angle, this distance, you would think the kicker is going to back himself to knock this over, but high pressure. You know, soccer players miss penalties in penalty shootouts, even though they make it all the time in practice. The crowd's not going to make it easy for him. I must say, though, this game has been so good. And both teams have been playing so well. It comes down to this one last kick. It was a slow start of a test match. The, the skills weren't on show. Hong Kong had a 15-point lead. Korea flipped that. They're in the lead by one point. This kick decides not only the winner of the Asian Championships, but who goes on to play Tonga. If it goes in, Hong Kong. If it's a miss, South Korea. They miss. Congratulations to Hong Kong. Hong Kong still a little bit deaf with a kick from 
number 22, Gregor McNeish. Not only are the Hong Kong players celebrating, but we're sitting just behind the Hong Kong staff here, and they've gone wild. Congratulations to them. Heck that was a, a great kick, yeah. He heck of a kick, heck of a test match. It was great. Can't fault both teams. There's Coach Lewis there and his coaching staff. Celebrations uh, deserve, deserve celebrations. Had to dig deep in the second half to weather the storm and then, uh, you know, nerves of steel there to get that ball over. Right, absolutely. But what a fight back from Korea. 15 points down to come back to lead in the final few, few moments of the game and then Hong Kong, uh, they snatch it at the end. Kore that was by number 22. Korean's going to be ruining uh, their last three defensive sets there. No reason to give away a penalty from the side. No, but look at that kick. It was beautiful. Illegal, illegal mall breakdown. You know, you're in the lead. There's no reason to give the referee any chance to call a penalty. Mm. But Koreans are playing too close to the line there. And three straight penalties in a row, giving up that field position. And then finally, again, uh, infringement at the mall, giving op Hong Kong the opportunity to win the game. Don't give them that opportunity. Make them win the game. Um, and unfortunately for Korea, too many penalties in the end. Both countries did such a great job. Both teams played so well. I would have to say the first half was definitely a lead for Hong Kong. The second half, Korea brought in 20 points, 21 points. A, a tale of two halves, or a game of two halves, really. Congratulations, there's James Hirsch, the captain of Hong Kong, the number eight, the big number eight. You know, it hasn't been easy for both sides. Hong Kong, especially under the uh, China no COVID policy. They've had to put a halt to domestic rugby, the premiership, um, no e uh, elite rugby program, but they were able to get their players, domestic players together for six weeks um, and then get their eight overseas boys here in Korea. Not much time to uh, gel as a team, but executed really well in that first half and was able to dig deep and fight. Korea on the other side, Charles Lowe, what a job he's done. 64-3 was the last score. Korea versus Hong Kong today lost at the final uh, whistle. Korea also had difficulties with their preparations, um, but a massive effort from them, and congrats to both teams. Handshakes all around. Uh, this is what we love to see in our game is a bit of a Sportsmanship. The tunnel. Yeah, you know, in Korea we call it the no side. Um, that's what it's about. You bat batter into each other, representing your country, and then at the end of the day, we're all brothers in arms. We're all rugby players at the end of the day. We'll take a look at the highlights here. So this was that first minute play where Hong Kong were down to uh, 14 men right off, right off, right from minute one. Massive decision for the referee, but the right call was made. Hong Kong were able to uh, weather a Korean storm kind of in the beginning, and then able to score their first try with the driving mall there. Just met against boys at that line out. I don't think a number 10 is ever going to stop uh, eight Hong Kong forwards <laughs> like that. Not at all. Deer in headlights. Deer in headlights. So it was 8 nil, about 20 minutes into the match. Then Korea had another opportunity because of this uh, dangerous play there by the Hong Kong winger. But Korea wasn't able to make... Uh, take advantage of that opportunity. They actually, this was just before this. They were counter, countering. Thought they were about to score, but then Hong Kong turned it over, and they were able to score. And this was a massive momentum swing. This made it 15 nil uh, for the first half. And this was kind of that uh, Dr. Seuss cat in a hat type moment. A bit of soccer skills there. Another kick forward. And then the, Another kick. The, the impact man, the impact sub, who, who played quite well today off the bench. Final try. Look at that. Just sheer determination and concentration in those eyes. And that, and that was the beginning of the turnaround right. for Korea. Right, it was. The momentum changed completely yeah. after that one try. And this was probably, I think, the penalty yeah, just out in front. When the new man came on, Oh Ji Myung, he really steered the ship in the right direction. He had made one earlier but missed that one to take the lead. So 
sorry, I think this is the one where... Yep, so he was... Uh, he hit that over. He played really well. Yeah, came off on. the bench. What a great job. And then this was Successful the kicks. This was the second Korean try. The first time, uh, probably the only time in the match, Korea probably put a string of, you know, six, seven, eight phases together, went one side of the pitch, came back to the uh, blind side, and, you know, This untouched. was a great play. This one was a great play. And that was to tie the game at 15-15. Again, yeah. Yeah. No, nothing difficult there, Tony. It was just, you know, Korea didn't do enough of this. Um, in the game. And in the, the first half. Yeah, and the one time they did do it, they scored. Right. Here comes another kick. This one unlucky to miss. Yeah, that was a conversion. That was a big kick. That was uh, the handoff on his own player, then the handoff on the Hong Kong player. You're able to get the penalty there. Put this over. Now, this gave Korea the, the first lead of the game at 18-15 with about, I think it was about 10 minutes left in the game. Yeah. And this was that heads-up play there. Uh, this, was, this was a great play by 23. Uh, the man off the bench, Nathan Terry, with a determined uh, run there to dot, dot down. The men off the bench today, they really are the MVPs. Yeah. So this made it a two-point game. Hong Kong in the lead. Now this was that up and under. Korea, penalty. like a good number seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, won that penalty. Another successful kick by 22. This put Korea in the lead, 21-20. And just when you thought Korea had snatched it from the death, not from playing that well, they gave up this penalty from in the side, and Hong Kong had that first opportunity to take the lead. Missed that kick. There was but one minute on the clock. But no minutes on the clock. This was the sealer. Yeah. Nerves of steel. What a strike. Andre, really, it's not over till it's over. I think this game really defines that phase. Yeah. phrase. What a, what a test match. And again, congratulations to Hong Kong there. We have the historic was once the Asian Five Nations Trophy, now the Asian Division I Trophy. Thank you all for joining us today. That was Hong Kong versus Korea at the Asia Rugby Championship 2022. Uh, this has been Hannah Kim, Andre, and Tony. We do have a few interviews coming up. The game is over. That was quite a game, guys. That was, that was. Tony. Yeah, some hard stopping stuff. I mean, to have a 15 point deficit at half time and then to come back and then to have the lead just at the end and then. And we're back on the field here. Hong Kong just uh, lifting that trophy. Uh, three years on the trot now um, as Asian champions. I think we're just sticking around for a couple player interviews after the match. Look at that trophy there. There might be a few beers, a few soju in that uh, <laughs> this evening. I will say... The trophy looked a little banged up. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's been years, Andre. Yeah, mm. rumor has it that uh, it made its way around Wan Chai and LKF a um, couple years ago when Hong Kong won in 2019. It's not as circular as it once was. Yeah, I think the boys are going to have fun with that tonight. Yeah. A lot of celebrations on the field right now. 
Everyone taking pictures, taking pictures with the trophy, congratulating each other. As you can see, that top doesn't fit on perfectly there. Take you know, I yeah. think Team Korea should give themselves a pat on the back too. They played very well. Yeah, heads held high. Obviously, they're going to be very disappointed. Uh, that is the end of their uh, World Cup qualification hopes. But, you know, this is, I think, a step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. um, again, they showed, you know, seven years on the trot losing by big score lines to Hong Kong. They showed today that there's not much in it. There's probably nothing in it, really, um, anymore between the two sides. And it, it bodes well for the uh, future of Korean rugby under Charlie Smith. Not at all. As we can see by the scoreline and, and the game, game of two halves, and yeah, the boys are evenly matched. You can hear the field audio. Bit of we will. We are the champions, Queen. That is like the go-to ceremony song. It's a classic for any sport. Some barrel chests down there. What an intense game. I'm just thinking about that second half. and I <laughs> uh, We couldn't have asked for, for more uh, adrenaline. intense game. Yeah. yeah, the adrenaline, the pressure. It was like a slow burner. You know those movies right. that take a while to <laughs> speed up and then the second half, it, it just came alive. And they are, The crowd must be kind of disappointed though. Majority of the fans were rooting on Korea like to thank the fans and everyone tuning in worldwide and, and the fans here in Korea they made it a great spectacle today they were back in their boys for sure this is when Hong Kong move on to uh, play Tonga that's correct yeah the final qualification step for the rugby world cup in 2023 in so France. I understand Asia has a 0.25 ticket we'd like to see world rugby maybe give us a bit more <laughs> an easier path to the World Cup, but the winner of this match goes on to play Tonga. Winner of that match will qualify for the World Cup. Loser of that match will enter a repercharge with four, three other teams, a four-man team, for the final uh, 20th spot in the, in the World Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just waiting on some interviews. We're going to interview some of the players on Team Hong Kong. Uh, they're on standby right now. Please be patient with us because you get to get the exclusive interviews one on one with the Hong Kong team. Be tough to, to reel away one of those boys for the uh, for an interview. Here we go. We hear the audio. We're trying to get some interviews down at the field. I can see in front of us the Hong Kong captain Tom Hirsch has a mic ready. We're just, I think, waiting for the footage. On standby right now. And then uh, we've got a shot of the Hong Kong boys, but also good to see uh, just left of the picture, not in shot. Here we go. Okay, yeah, have with me are. Josh, the Hong Kong captain. Josh, first of all, congratulations on the win. Uh, just tell us how it feel, how does it feel to win and to win like this? Thank you very much. Uh, honestly, I'm so tired, uh, lost for words. Uh, you know, the Asia rugby is well and truly alive. Uh, I might be biased, but if that's not the greatest final we've had in recent history. You know, I'm just so proud of, of our boys and, and what we've been through in our journey and over the last three years, with all, all the turmoil and to go out there and put up a performance on like that against a, a really tough and proud Korean outfit. I'm just, uh, I'm over the moon. Thank you very much. So uh, definitely it's one of the greatest finals we had in Asia for a long time. Uh, just tell us, Coming back after two, is it two, two and a half years of not playing rugby, what sort of preparation your team had? Uh, we, uh, we had probably seven weeks out from the tournament, just enough to get the return to play protocols in. Um, we'd been turned off and turned on and told we were going, weren't going, gymming in our houses, gymming on roofs, 
uh, borrowing kit where we could, hitting the roads, training in fours, uh, the list goes on. I'm just so proud of our, our rugby community in Hong Kong and, and how they've dug in and, and supported us and, and uh, I hope they've, they've enjoyed the victory. Well done guys, well done. So you've got another big game now coming up on the 23rd of July. Uh, best of luck with that. Have you any, got any thoughts? I know it's still early, but... Uh, we're, we're just going to enjoy this win and once we get on that plane to Australia, then we'll start thinking about Tonga, but for now, uh, we're going to savour this one. Well done, congratulations. Thank you very much. Cheers, Thank you very brother. much. Just mention that we're waiting for the Korean captain. Okay, we're just waiting for the Korean... Uh, I'm, I'm off, I'm not here. Uh, his light is off. Yeah. Is that yeah. Is that yeah, it looks unbelievable. <laughs> captain, please. What, what are the questions? Uh, 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 yeah, who are 그냥 오늘 소감 뭐 이런 거. 아, 네네. 우리 방송 마무리하고 바로 돌아올게요. 돌아가, 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 돌아가. 네, no, we're here with the Korean captain Kim Kwang Min after a massive effort. Um, 형, 수고하셨습니다. 오늘 경기 소감 한, 한 번만 부탁드릴게요. 오늘 다시 갈게요. 다시 갈게요. 마이크 줘야 돼? 예, 예, 형이 받아야 돼. I'm with uh, Korean captain King Gwang Min after a massive 80 minutes, big effort from the Korean boys. Let's just hear from him about uh, his thoughts on the game. 네, 오늘 좋은 경기 보여준 홍콩 팀에게 정말 축하한다고 말씀드리고 싶고요. 졌지만 비록 우리 선수들 열심히 해서 끝까지 홍콩과 비등한 경기했기 때문에 좀 아쉽지만 다음을 생각하면서 더 열심히 노력하겠습니다. First of all, what a great game and a big congratulations to the Hong Kong team uh, for their victory. Um, it was a bit, uh, a little bit short from Korea, but uh, I think they proved today, or we, they proved today that they're really in the game, um, and it's about moving on to the next steps and building to the future. Um, 특히 오늘 전반전이랑 후반전이랑 조금 차이점이 있었거든요. 그에 대해서 조금 설명해주고 특히 뭐 halftime에 무슨 말씀이 있었는지. Just about the game of two halves, talking about the first half and the second half. 처음에 오히려 한 명이 퇴장당하면서 선수 좀 들떴던 것 같습니다. 그래서 좀 준비한 플레이가 안 나왔고 후반전에 좀더 차분해지자는 얘기를 많이 했고 그에 따라서 준비했던 플레이를 하면서 조금 비등한 경기했던 것 같습니다. I think the uh, Hong Kong obviously were reduced to 14 men. Um, that actually probably overexcited the Korean players and maybe uh, that caused a bit of the mistakes and uh, some of the issues that we saw. Uh, but in the second half, they were able to calm things down a bit, uh, go back to their practice patterns, uh, the promises they made to one another, and play a, a good game. Uh, finally, we'll just finish uh, off with uh, just what the future of Korean rugby looks like. And um, yeah, we'll just final thoughts. <laughs> 네, 비록 다음 라운드 진출을 못했지만 이제 또 내년을 기약하면서 더 준비 많이 해서 더 좋은 모습 보여드리도록 하겠습니다. Yeah, unfortunate not to make the next step in the World Rugby qualification, but um, they'll be back. There'll be another Asian Rugby Championship next year, and Korean Rugby will be back stronger. Thank you very much. 감사합니다. 네, 감사합니다. Korea, Hong Kong with the win. It was a very tight game, but it was a good one. It was a really, really good one. Congratulations to Hong Kong. 2022 Asia Rugby Championship. This has been Hannah Kim, Andre, and Tony. We'll see you next time.